What exactly is dual intent and how could it help student visa holders and how, how does it help people who are holding a dual intent visa? The answer to that question is dual intent simply means this. Even though it is quite obvious or it is it could be obvious that I have the intention to remain in the United States forever, immigrant visa, immigrant intent. But I am nevertheless allowed to get a non-immigrant visa. In some ways, that's a contradiction in terms. I want to stay forever, but my visa would normally be temporary visa. The doctrine of dual intent says there are certain visas where you are allowed to have that intent. Some examples of these kinds of visa are H-1B, H-4, L-1, L-2, O-1, E visas. All of them have dual intent. Some visas that do not have dual intent are J-1, F-1, tourist visas, and also their derivatives, J-2, F-2, etc. Under the proposed Biden immigration scheme, certain students who are coming to, I forget the exact uh, parameters, but certain students, I think anybody who's coming to study in an accredited school would be exempt from the non-immigrant visa, non-immigrant intent requirements. In other words, there'll be dual intent visas. What does that do? That would probably eliminate 90% of student visa denials. Why? Because most student visas are denied because they say, well, you are denied under Section 214B as in boy, which basically means you have an immigrant intent. But if the visa is a dual intent visa, you can no longer be denied on those bases. Some of the advantages are you could apply for a green card even during the student visa. Right now, if you are coming from a country with uh, very little waiting time, which is almost all the world except India, China, and few other countries, you could actually apply for student, uh, while you were still a student, or let's say you were on OPT, you could apply for a green card. And by the time you get into OPT, STEM OPT, your green card is done, right? But if you are born in a country like India, the visa wait times are so much, you have to get on to H-1B. And right now, because student visas are not dual intent visas, it could be a problem if you have a green card going on because your entry into the United States could be denied. If you have a went to visit India or any country that you want to go to outside USA, when you come back, Customs and Border Protection at the airport, if they discover that you have a green card going on, could stop you from coming in. So that is dual intent visa. And if students could get dual intent rolled into their visa status, there could be there could be some really uh, great advantages.